Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of the islands of Denmark. Memo, if this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to the islands of Denmark. So we are here on new farmer mode today. So let's go ahead and jump over to the mod hub and read a little bit about it. So this is by Sean DeGeek. This is 117.39 megabytes to download. This is currently for PC and Mac players only, but it probably could go to consoles. But anyhow, continuing on, it says Islands of Denmark, FEMO. I'm probably saying that wrong. I do apologize. It's F-E-M-O. Uh, welcome to the romantic farming island of FEMO. In this Farming Simulator 19 mod map, you will be faced with logistic, managerial, planning, and budget challenges as you forge the land into your farming empire. And also does have a note, which I know this is immediately gonna have a lot of you be like, nope, not gonna play on it, but it is, this map has no activated indexed fields for contracts. There's no contract work. Some of you are gonna automatically probably be like, nope, not my map, which is fine. But continuing on, it says this, this map has ample space for field creation and building placement. So many beautiful views, two cell points, one animal husbandry, one wood cell point, one temporary fuel station, um, I don't know if it disappears later or not, but it does say temporary. I'm just kidding. But uh, continuing on the store, all items are imported onto the barge store, which is what's in front of us on the screen, which I'm extremely excited about. Um, vehicle repair and customization shed. Uh, one user farm featuring. Oh, let me scroll down here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. One user farm featuring. This is what it says. Farmhouse, several haylofts. Several sheds in multiple locations, silage bunker, cow pasture with cows, sheep pasture with sheep, pig pen with bacon seeds. I, it's got, it's got bacon seeds. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Uh, chicken coop with chickens, uh, several silos, and it says, note the mod zip contains the originally planned fields. If you're familiar with editing maps, you may import fields ml3.i3d onto the map and save it. This will activate 86 fields. So you can't have map, map or geez, you can't have fields if you want, if you know how to do all that stuff. It says this map is loosely based and inspired by the real island of Femo, and it contributors are none listed. It just says contributors and there's no required mod. So, okay, let's take a look. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is the easy development control mod. If you don't know what this is, I'm just gonna speed my walking speed up here a touch, and then we'll go into the, uh, geez, my phone's on. Let me turn that off real quick. I just muted it a second ago. Okay, there we go. All right, go into the menu here. Um, so we, it's a cool map. I'm not gonna be not gonna lie. It's a really really cool map. Turn that all down. Uh, move along here again. There's no contracts. They shouldn't show up. And you already have a bunch of you have bacon seeds in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and then you have chickens and all sorts of different stuff. So you have lots of animals starting out. And we'll take a look at these as we go through. So yeah. And the weird thing about this too is your starting balance is. 95879, did I spend money on something? Fuel costs, I guess I bought fuel when I came in here. I, I didn't actually, I haven't moved. But so yeah, I don't know what that is from, but you don't quite start with uh, your normal $100,000. So a little bit different as far as, as far as all that goes. I got two um, different sell points, exports, and the local sell point here. So you can sell to the locals or export. They all take everything, which is pretty sweet. Um, so you just kind of have two computing prices. Um, a new farmer mode, we start with a couple of chunks of land. Actually, that's all one chunk of land. 94,000 for all that. And all of the animals are compounded onto there. Um, exports is over here, locals over here, animal dealer, the shops right in front of us, gas station, do a farmhouse, farm silo, and something else in there. And then you have a hayloft there. So yeah, there's not a lot going on in the rest of the map. Well, I mean, we haven't gotten there, but uh, so most of this is probably gonna be a flyover. Actually, I think I'm just gonna drive around this portion We'll see. I don't know. We'll kind of play it by ear. I haven't even looked at a lot of it yet. So, um, yeah. So here is the store, which do we start off with all this? Let's go in the garage here. Holy smokes. Yes, we do. So we have a starting equipment like crazy. Um, this says 17.2 days on it. So I don't know. Some of the stuff looks like it might need some tweaking, but uh, this <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I'm really not running any mods. The only mods I'm running is the easy dev controls, the map itself, and disable vehicle collision. But anyhow, you do start with a John Deere 6250R. You have a Valtra T234. You have a Case Quadtrack 540, which I guess that would make sense. Maybe they have it set to that many days so you can't sell them and make a bunch of money right off the bat. But anyhow, you also have a Challenger MT975E, a um, New Holland T9565, a Case 380 CVX, a John Deere 8295R, you have a Valtra S374, you have a Roadrunner, 
pickup, or not pickup, geez, a semi-truck. You have two commons. You have an Agco Ideal 9T, and you have a Case IH uh, 9240. You also have a Cotton Harvester. You have the Scorpion King, uh, the Buffalo. You have a uh, Stara big old fertilizer and, yeah, liquid and solid fertilizer. Spreader. You have a wheel loader. You have a bulk trailer here. You have a haul master. You have your header for your combine, another header there. You have a large plow, um, a large cultivator, a large seeder, a large planter seeder combo there. Um, front loader attachments, all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, just tons. And then you can sell the animal pens and the silos. You have two halos, two silo extensions, and all sorts of different. Well, you have lots of stuff in here. Wow. Yeah, you have you own a ton of stuff in here. I'm not even going to go through all that. That is a boatload. So, anyhow, this is the store. Gosh, I was hoping it'd like pop me out onto the water in accident. Oh, I fell in. Whoops. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is a cool kind of, uh, this is a cool shop idea here. I think this is, this is a really cool idea, quite honestly. Um, yeah. Let me see if I, geez, you could drive everything off this thing if you weren't careful. Go and buy ourselves a truck just so we can drive around in that. And it should spawn here. Yep, right there. We can turn on the map down there so you can see where we're going so yeah and then the exports sell point is right over there and again it takes all crop types i'm not going to go through all of them individually because they both take all the crop types there's your export sell point there you got a couple ways to get off of here but this is a cool this is a cool setup here i'm not gonna lie let me go ahead and set the time up to noon though so it's maybe or noon there we go so it's a little bit brighter out so yeah there we go okay we're gonna head this way i'm gonna get a sip of coffee and we're gonna keep going on this map tour Right over here, we have a repair trigger. Beautiful. Not too bad of a place for that. I love that there's boats moving in and out too. Gives you a good feel for it. All right, let's head around this way. Yep, here's the docks area essentially, basically. Yeah, let's go this way now. All right, we're gonna take a left here first. Big open roads here. Big open landscape, too. It's actually fairly flat, which I didn't think it was going to be. It kind of looked like this was going to maybe be a mountain. It was going to all kind of... Which, I mean, it still could, I guess. But maybe not too much, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Here we have your wood cell point right over here. So pull some logs under here. You can sell your wood. I do like kind of how all this is detailed, though, out here by the, the coast. I honestly do really like that. So, oh, my... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter if you guys hear the truck or not. But now you really can hear the truck. Well, maybe not really here, but you actually can. Um, so here's the local cell point. Again, it takes, this is the local cell point, right? Yeah, okay, again, it takes everything. The animal dealer is just over this way. It looks like right here. Yep, here's your animal dealer, stop out. Yep, beautiful. Okay, and then we will continue on. Yeah, I like how they kind of start you off. It's, well, I don't know. I like I like aspects of it. I like to personally start with way less equipment just so it's more difficult to get going at the beginning. But, of course, you always could sell all that off, cheap money out. I mean, it, it's, you can work your way around it. It's not too hard. We actually might drive a loop around the island. That would give us a good feel for it, too. So let's get a look at everything uh, since most of it's all kind of compacted into here, and then we'll drive around and take a look at all of it in a little bit more, more detail. So right up this way, if we follow this main road, we should have the main farm. Yep, right up there on the left. There's a big old lake looking thing in there as well. It's mostly grass. There are some fields in here. Well, no, no, actually they're not. Those are just, it's just not showing up. It's not rendering quite right, but two haylofts here. It looks like you start off with some straw bales, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, a couple of haylofts. It's not very well organized. So, I mean, you could always sell it all and redo it, but uh, if you have some cows here, there's a silo with a silo extension. It looks like, or two silo extensions, excuse me. Your sheep are over here. You got our shed over here. Chickens, pigs. Yeah, it's kind of... They're just kind of all plopped down where they could be. But I figure a lot of people... Probably, there's so many bales out here, too. That's actually kind of surprising. I'm surprised they start you off with that many bales. But lots of bales around here. My guess is, and what I would do, probably, if I started on this map, is I'd honestly probably just sell everything off and then build it how I wanted. Which, I mean, honestly, if that's what you want to do, the map is set up to do it. Or keep just the pieces you want. So, nothing wrong with that. But uh, this is a this is kind of a cool conceptual map. I kind of I kind of dig it actually. Um, yeah, there's actually some really cool features to it. Quite honestly, I, I love that I love that store that's on out on the barge. That is fantastic. That's a great idea. But yeah, just to kind of have that atmosphere of you're on an island and you're farming on here, and you have to 
export everything and everything like that. But here's some more facilities that are yours. I'm assuming you own these. Let's look at the map as far as land. Yep, you own this little chunk of land, that chunk there. Um, that chunk there will drive around there. But as far as roads go, we'll probably cut, take a look at these and probably head in here and just drive around maybe this and head down and around up that way and then come back maybe down that way or something like that. But uh, yeah, we'll try to do a quick loop around and then we'll fly over and kind of give you guys an aerial perspective of it all at the end. But out here looks like your bunker silo land. They got a couple of plots kind of spread out, which some of you aren't going to like that they're all spread out either, which is, is fine. Again, you can always sell them off and do whatever you want. But there you go. We got a hayloft and um, stuff in there. More sheds over here. Looks like in our silo in the back half there. We'll drive into here. Repair trigger over there. Yep. More sheds, uh, farmhouse, another hayloft, another silo with silo extensions. And I think that's basically everything that's placed on here. Oh, geez. How did I hit that tree? I was looking at the map and I hit that tree. I don't even know how I do that sometimes. But uh, yeah, so we'll just kind of do a nice little a nice little drive around the map and take a look at some things here. Get a sip of some coffee. Still morning for me. I hope you guys are enjoying my daily mod reviews. I'm going to try to do better at getting map tours out quicker. I'm upgrading my internet, so hopefully I can uh, get all that stuff up or uploaded a lot faster, which I think it should work a lot faster for me. Another little water section there. It looks like we got another shed over here. Here we go. Here's a little field here. So we do have a couple little ones around. That one's got oilseed radish in it. Which, if you don't know what that is or how that works, you can go ahead and watch my video on it. That will help you out quite a bit. Go over that. We'll keep heading down here a little bit more. This is a fairly large map, actually. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but this is a big island. You got lots of placeable areas in here if you wanted to buy some of those. Your forestry area is kind of in this, this central zone in here, which actually, let's just drive that through. Oh, that was close. I mean, I still hit it, but at least I didn't have to stop and reverse and whatnot. But yeah, forestry areas through here. Trees are pretty spread out, so, I mean, depending on how you like it, but uh, we'll look at the map here a little bit larger. Yeah, okay, so we're going to take this next right up here, and then uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah. Sorry about that little gap there. I uh, <laughs> I got a call coming in on my phone that I didn't recognize the number to, and I'm waiting for the internet guy to show up to upgrade my internet here in about 30 or 40 minutes, so I wanted to make sure that wasn't him calling. I definitely don't want to miss out on my, my internet upgrade, so... <laughs> I do apologize about that, but we'll keep going down here. So it's very expansive, very open through here, and there is, yeah, there's a couple little fields. They all got oilseed radish in them, which is a little peculiar. I've never seen that on the map before, but hey, that's going to be at least a fertilizer state for you on those. This is a fairly large map. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. The map itself looks looks relatively small, but this is, when you're on it, driving around, it looks fairly large. A lot of trees on here, too, actually. Um, What is that? Let me see here. Yeah, okay. Now, so yeah, this looks like all those little green marks are where the trees are at. Yeah, those look like where those are all the trees are at. But, uh, anywho, I can see a, I can love it. I can see a barge off in the distance there because they're probably just going around the island, which is great. That's a great animation. If wherever you're at, you can see barges every so often just kind of driving around the, the island or whatnot. But that, that, that would be a really cool, really cool addition, I think. Well, I mean, a really cool aspect of the map, I guess I should say, since it's there. It looks like it is there. But uh, yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> I do wish that they would have just a few fields on here and then did would have some contracts on those fields. But I understand the concept. And there is a way, obviously, if you want to edit it in to add um, fields in. But I don't think that'll necessarily add contracts in, or I don't think it will at all. But uh, yeah, so it's a little bit, a little bit strange with that. I would like to see some contracts on here, I think. But uh, yeah, anyhow, maybe put out two versions of the map. This one's like a survival role play starting from scratch kind of map and then you kind of have another one where it's more of a just a typical farm sim map but anywho we will loop back up this way head across the island this way and then we'll do a flyover and wrap up this tour not a whole lot to show off on this map it's not going to be a super long tour um there's just a lot of open expanses for you to, ex to expand <laughs> but uh yeah but it's still a very cool map honestly i mean we're driving 75 i don't feel like i'm going that fast across here but it's just that that open there's a lot of space on here so actually I mean, if we look at yeah we're driving along here 70 that's 75 miles an hour going just slow and sure but yeah it's it's taking a while to get across the map because of how big it is this is probably a 4x map i would think and if that's the case it won't go to consoles but uh yeah i don't know but anyhow it's a cool map very large island well i wouldn't i mean 
in the real world, it's probably honestly not that big, but um, as far as a game island here, it seems like it's fairly large, and especially when you're probably going to be one of the only residents on it. And I think we have a tree growing through the road here. A couple of them, maybe. That looks a little off. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> map seems to be doing just fine. <laughs> just a couple issues like that. There's probably a few other issues like that through here, but um, usually the map makers get those things fixed up with an update or something in the future. And I don't know if this is this map maker's first map. Oh, geez, excuse me. First map or, uh, or not, but... Uh, if it is a first map, it's fantastic for a first map, um, I will say. But that's a strange field shape there. Yeah, see, look, and there's no grass here. It looks like there's some, maybe some texture issues. I don't know. It looks like it maybe needs a, an update, I would say, for sure. But anyhow, it is here. You have it. Um, we'll also take a look, too, before I forget here in a second. We'll want to maybe buy my Florida field. I guess I didn't look at land prices too much, but... Uh, Oh, geez, that's what happens when you look at land prices. Uh, we'll drive back around here and looking at the map. And we're just about back to where we started, so we will... Uh... Oh, not that one. The next right. And we'll take this guy right here. Interesting intersection. <laughs> yeah, so we're heading back in this way. Let me go ahead and add us in some extra money so we can buy ourselves... A field to just take a look at some of the textures. All right, and actually we probably could just buy, let's buy this chunk of land right here. But yeah, field prices, uh, some of them are fairly expensive and some of them are fairly large expensive chunks. That's 4.5 million for that, but uh, yeah, so some of them are fairly large. Holy cow, yeah, a lot of these are fairly large actually. So you'll need to be saving up money buying all these little small plots over here, but I do like that aspect, at least. It's like, okay, well, the big plot's over there, but it's not like your starting farm is plop in the middle of all these big plots and you can't expand. You have room to expand right around where you're starting out, which that's that's honestly a really good feature that doesn't always happen on maps. So, um, okay. Let's take a look here. So, we've got kind of your dirt texture there. Pavement, lighter colored pavement. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Another dirt texture. Another kind of the wood chippy texture, dirt texture there. Bushes, that's cool. I like that those are on there. Grass is actually growing on there. Some gravel through there. That might be the grass texture. Lots of good ones on here, actually. Yep, that was the grass texture. The only grass texture you really have is that. And, well, let's go back around to... And this one. So, not maybe the best case scenario, but, hey, it is what it is. That's what you got. So, there's not like a regular grass. They just kind of switched it out for bushes, but... Um, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and do a fly through of this map. Take a look at it. Um, yep, that's why well, we can leave that on. So I usually turn that off for the thumbnail. All right. Yeah, very cool. I like the, I mean, it's pretty cool to do the edge the way it is. But yeah, it looks like I should like go up to like a mountain with trees on it. I think that would be a cool addition um, to have a little bit more hilly. Maybe some of you are like, no, no, please, no hills. But... <laughs> That would make it more challenging. But yeah, it looks like you got a lot of good little fields around here and a lot of space over here to create fields. So these plots seem to be divided up pretty well. Stores over there, all your cell points are right up in here. That'd be the only trick with being on the other side of the map is there's no cell points. But yeah, fairly large map. I'm going I'm going eight times speed, right? Eight times, oop, took a thumb, or a, a screenshot there. Eight times speed on sprint. And this is how slow we're going across this map. So this map is absolutely massive. Absolutely huge. It'd take you all day to fly across this. I think I think at this point we are going to wrap up the map tour, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. And turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.